Good morning, everyone. This morning we are going to highlight a social subject, but the topic or the title is given by Gita. Gita has given the description of snooty people, detrimental, crook, conniving people. Gita has given them the name Shumba, Nishumba, Chanda and Munda. They are the worst kind of people in the society who are born and brought up in order to perpetrate all kinds of illegal activities, all kinds of conniving, crook activity. They hurt people, they hurt nation, they hurt society, they hurt their relatives, they hurt their parents and eventually hurt themselves. These kind of people, four kind, Shumba, Nishumba, Chanda and the Munda, in Gita, <clears throat> or in Gitian society, they are described by Gita that these people are able to perpetrate any kind of crime, capable of committing crime, capable of waging wars, capable of decapitating people, and capable of harassing everyone. They terrorize the society. They vilify the society. They never do anything better in the society, but everything worst in the society against human, against nation, against society, against people, against even animals. These kinds of Shumba, Nishumba, Chanda and Munda have not, have not ceased yet. They are not wiped out or fizzled out from the society, Indian society or global society, whatever we see is happening, the leader is actually like Hitler carrying out all kinds of massacre and genocide of Jews. Or Hirohito carried out the genocide of all the neighboring nations like North Korea and the Vietnam and here and there and the American government. Today has been killing and maiming all the people over there in Afghanistan and Iraq, Iraq and Libya and uh, Syria and all over the places. These kind of governments are composed of Shumba, Nishumba, Chanda and Munda. I have created four points to elaborate that thing rather deeply. Point number one is conniving, crooks, sinister and snooty fox. They are conniving people, they are cheaters, they cheat the nation, they swindle the nation, they loot the nation, they grab and gorge every single thing they can find in the nation. They are crook, they cheat everybody, they cheat their parents, they cheat their people, they cheat their customers, they cheat their students, they cheat their doctor, the, I mean not patient and the clients. They are snooty and sinister type of people. Their ideology is so bad that they have been thinking only the thing, how to harass someone, how to destroy someone, how to create problem for someone, how to malign someone, how to give bad name and uh, proliferate to this kind of canal and rumor against someone. The kind of people, kind of people, the one name comes to my mind is like, uh, like, uh, Gandhi is a assassin, Gandhi is a killer, Nathuram Gorse. Did not have any reason, did not have any kind of animosity with Gandhi, did not have any kind of grudge with Gandhi, and still he was regurgitating the grudge. Killing of Gandhi was nothing but grudge regurgitation. He was regurgitating his grudge against Gandhi and they killed for no reason whatsoever. Gandhi did not even know his name. These kind of people still live in this society, in the global society. Point number two, they look to harm, hurt, and detriment innocence. <clears throat> I have seen some kids in our neighborhood. Whenever the she dog gives birth to puppies, and the puppies are still two or three or four days old, some kind of rascalized, bastardized kids, they will pick up a big rock and crush the head of the puppies. And they will laugh and smile and they have a party. Even 
satanic person would actually shed tears to see these kind of activities of those satanic kids. But look, when they grow up, they become bigger satan. When they, are ch they are, when they are children, they are actually crushing the head of the puppies. But when they grow up and go into politics or any other thing, they're going to crush the head of the older people, mature people, even people in the armchair. Armchair years, these kind of people are also going to be the victim of this kind of people. They look to harm, hurt and detriment. Everyone in the society, whoever comes in his, in his or her touch, is gone. Point number three, they plunder, pillage, and perpetrate canard. They pillage the nation with both hands. <clears throat> you know the name, it started about 30 years ago with Big Bull, Harshad Mehta. Then five years later, it was Ketan Parekh. Lots of politicians, there was Rajendra Shah. I also lost one lakh and 10,000 rupees that I invested in Rajendra Shah's a financial plan, I lost it. Then there was a, recently, there was a Nilo Modi, Claudia, these kind of people, Choksi and all that. They are also Manishima Munda and Chanda. They are not different kind of people. Their name may be Choksi. Their name may be Modi. Their name may be anything. Nirav Modi, or his name can be Vijay Malia, but they are definitely Shumba, Nishumba, Chanda, and the Munda. They are coming from their genes. They still carry the gene of these cursed, God forsaken people in Gita. Point number four they are anti national, anti social, anti humanity, and anti bono publico. They're against everything. They don't love nation. They don't love humanity. They don't love society. They don't love public or means people. They suffer from people poisoning. Wherever the people are, they actually hate them, disdain them, despise them desperately. They don't have any kind of love or the drop or the droplet of love in their heart. They have nothing but only dark energy. Only dark energy, nothing else. They went only dark, dark energy, they purge only one kind of energy, and that is a dark, detrimental, devastating, destructive energy that their hearts are filled with. God forbid, and God spare everyone from Shumba, Nishumba, Chanda, and the Munda. Thank you very much. God bless everyone. Uh, on this planet, I mean.